Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Trulon, the Shadow Engine. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing what we left off. Now, for those of you who may have missed the last episode, we did uh, finally get down here into the Undercity. We got a few new quests to do down here. One of them is to uh, investigate. Now, let's find the food packets and a job to kill in the Undercity. Find the merchant. We also need to, uh, let's scroll down find and slay the monsters in the undercity all of them apparently and for the id we need to find the package and deliver it to the uh, merchant down here in the undercity so a number of quests to be had down here and a lot of experience to be had but some of the monsters in here are really really tough i'm guessing this is the package return the package to the merchant okay so we found the package already the the monsters i'm talking about that are really really tough are those guys right over there they just completely and totally kicked our butts last time so i'm trying to stay away from them as long as possible maybe get a few more levels a couple more uh, cards that we need this guy looks like uh somebody who didn't make it is he the merchant we're looking for i think so maybe we should check his pockets just to be sure well i'm not touching him fair you're a healer you need to be comfortable around bodies. I prefer them not to die in the first place. Oh, you kids here. It's a picture of a lady. Must be his wife. We should probably tell her about this. I think we actually found her once, and he's and she was saying that her husband hadn't been home in a while. And she didn't think he was coming back. Unfortunately, it seems like she was right. That, that kind of sucks. But, you know, in this place, uh, not too uncommon because... Hey, this, this city kind of sucks. I mean, people are very unhappy here. What do we got? Something good. Mm, 50 hit points is not better than what he's wearing. It's the exact same as what my mage is wearing right now. So I think we're going to go ahead and settle with uh, leaving it on him at the moment. Oh, uh, I guess we're going to attack this. It's only one, which is why it kind of uh, scares me. Because it is a new creature we haven't seen before. And that kind of leads me to believe that... It's going to be tough. I mean, it's only one, and it's, it's the first time we've seen it. So it has to be rough. Oh, I guess it doesn't have to be, but I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to be. All right, what can we do? Next physical attack. Now, we're going to go with regular attack. Shadow Fox. See how much damage we do to it. 60 damage. Okay, well, we won't see how much damage we can do or how much damage is done until we get ready to attack. Look at that. 60 damage barely did... Like 120 of its life, so yeah, it has a lot of hit points. Until next turn, until next turn, attack all enemies. Let's go with this one, get that extra damage in there, and hopefully we can get haste in there at some point, and then we can really take advantage of some of those spells. Immunity to next hostile spells. Uh, well, we're not using any spells at the moment, so that's okay. Attack all enemies until next turn, gain 50% extra attack. Opponents only target you. Hmm. Uh, I wish you could do two, man. I really do. For the next three turns, your opponents only target you. Until the next target attacks, single target. Uh, let's go with this. Just uh, because not only does it heal you, which he doesn't need, but it doesn't damage you. So you don't take damage from the attack, which I think is just going to be perfectly fine with him. Move one space forward. Next physical attack. Yeah, let's go with that one. Next physical attack automatically misses. Definitely want uh, him to evade. I'm guessing whatever charge up that she has uh, for the enemy is going to be pretty wicked. Mm. Let's go ahead and use that. Hoping it doesn't hit her because if it does, she's going to have that negative defense. And that's going to be uh, suckage. Stun immunity. Okay, so she can no longer be stunned. She has a lot of nice uh, effects. Would be really bad to have her in a fight with a lot of other players. But for this one, not too bad. Let's do Daring Blow. Get, get that in there. 72 damage. Ah, just, just not doing enough for him. Let's see. What can you do? Move one forward. I guess we can do that. Just to kind of get rid of that and get you a better card. What about you? Attack all enemies. Attack 75. Play another tactic until the next turn. Minus 25 damage. Might as well. Want to clear up some space, so we'll do that. So, uh, 57. Not too bad. What is his life at? About 50%. I guess we'll use that one. Get rid of it anyways. When I really want it, when we got several enemies, 
we never get it. But when I don't really care because we only have one guy, that's when I get that one apparently. So deal magic to a single target. She's uh, resistant to magic, but uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot and see how much it not nah, resisted it completely. That's all right. That's all right. It's not too bad on that one. Who's she going to hit? Evade it. Perfect. I, uh, he didn't have anything special on him either, so he just evaded that one on his own. Hmm. Attack all enemies. Yeah, we'll go with this one because if she does attack, it's going to be him, and he still has that effect on him where he'll get healed when she attacks. So, yeah, we're not going to do too much damage to that guy. Let's see. Regain a small amount. No, nobody's really taking any damage. She's just a buff monster is what she is. That's all she does is buff, buff, and buff. Like I said, be really, really nasty if she was in a group, but by herself, I think it just uh, kind of draws it out. Magic damage to all enemies. We're going to avoid that one because she's resistant to it. We'll just go with regular attack. 60 damage. Actually, pretty nice. Pretty nice. She, he's doing some more damage than I thought he'd be doing. 114. Holy crap. But he get healed for that amount right now. She's also resistant to stun right now until the next turn. Attack a single target attacking you. Let's go with that. Oh, yes. Double defense and assault. He's also healed. Doesn't need it, but it's still kind of cool to see it actually take effect. Uh, regain a small amount. Let's just go with regular attack for now. 69. Does it kill him? Yes, it does. Wow. 500 experience points all by himself. That is not too shabby for some experience on a mob. Let's come over here. Ooh. Yeah, we, we've done a match like this on the last one, so we know we can kill these guys. It's just going to be a little rough. Let's come over here and snag this this experience. Maybe we can sneak up on them? But I want to I wanna look around first before we actually attack those guys, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, there's a chest over here. As I said before, you want to get these things... Uh, obviously, because you can get some really good stuff. I'd get them before the fights, because you never know when you can use them. Impairing Ruin, Gear, Assault Tactic, Unstabilized Target. That is going to be good for the Mage. I might actually put that on the Mage, uh, or somebody else, so that the Mage can use his stuff down the road when he actually starts attacking. The problem, as I've always said with him, is his power doesn't come back when he's out there in the world. Down here, it seems like it comes back between each fight. But that's not a thing later on, so until I can find some way for his power to come back, I don't really like using that one, to be honest. But Unstabilized does so much damage to the enemy when they when you use magic on them. Uh, in fact, I guess I could try it out. Let me look at what they got. Characters. Defensive effect. Assault target. Uh, I'm not going to use it on her. That's 20 to your gun. No, my magic I really want on there. Hit points I really want on there. Doubles defense for the next turn. I don't really care about his defense, to be honest. It, it's nice, but it's it's not what I want. So I'm going to use this one in that spot and see if maybe it works. If it does and he happens to have like an area effect magic spell at the same time, we could really take advantage of that. 82 damage. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. Spread it out evenly? Okay, that works. Especially since double damage against stunned opponents. Well, nobody's stunned right now, so that was kind of a waste. Below the belt, huh? Deal magic damage to a single target. Deal damage to all of them. And I can unstabilize them. Raise attack. I think we're going to raise attack on her and just hope for the moment that she gets her area effect spells. Maybe even a haste spell at the same time would really be nice. Uh, let's see. Nope, not that one. No, play another tactic. Attack all guys. Okay, so, hmm. I think I'm going to use this one. It's going to give me an extra attack. It's going to lower my, my you know, attack by 25, but he just gave me 50. So I'm still in the, the red, or no, I'm still in the black by an extra 25%. So I should still do a decent amount. And I get two turns out of that. So let's see, what else do I have here? Attack all enemies until the next turn. Make them attack you. Next damage, yeah, let's go ahead and use that because he could definitely use a little bit of healing. He did take some damage there. Uh, what are you going to do? Okay, well, he's not the strongest. The guy in the middle is actually the strongest, but 82 is not bad. I think the other guy hits for like 93 or something like that, so we can we can accept the extra 10. Till next turn, attack a single opponent attacking you or targeting you. Hmm... Deal magic damage, no. 
move forward. Mm, let's just do a... Let's just do that one. Get that one out of the way. Maybe open up a card that somebody could actually use, like haste, in there. Uh, until next turn, plus 50 defense. That sucks. Let's do this one. And we're not going to do this guy because right now, if we do, he'll attack back and get a free turn on that one. So we'll just do a regular attack on this guy over here. That's why I didn't do the area effect spell as well because we don't want the guy to get an extra turn. We just have to wait one anyways. Uh, let's see. Attack all enemies. Mm, kind of like that one. What is, what's the one in the middle do? Why can't, oh, he doesn't have any power. That's why I can't even target that one. All right, we'll do this one. It might be, uh, actually, no. We need to wait until this, it's his turn before we use those. Dang it. Uh, for the next three turns, opponents only target you. We're going to do it anyways. We're going to do it anyways. We, we got a, we, it's the only thing we got, really, other than a basic attack. So, there he goes. Extra turn right there. I hate using it, but, uh. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh, as long as everybody... Oh, but everybody's going to target him regardless because that's what we told him to do. So he's going to die. That that was just stupid on my part. He is gone. He's he's dead. Uh, until next turn. Yep, okay. Jeez. Doing some serious damage to my guys. Let's see. Can I do... We're just going to do magic until... Uh, I wish we could get... A revive spell or a heal spell here, but uh, it doesn't seem like we're going to. Let's see. Attack all enemies in a single shot. Let's go ahead and do that. Almost everybody is dead. If we can kill off two of the guys here, which we might be able to do, my mage might actually be able to finish this on his own if he has to. It actually looks like he's going to have to do that on his own. Unless he gets a revive here, and he does. So let's revive her because she does just massive damage. And it's going to go all the way back up to full, I think. Yeah, not quite to full, just 247. Regain a small amount, we get an extra turn, so yeah, we'll use that. Oh, man, wish we had attacked. All right, what do we got? We'll do that one. Should kill him, actually. There we go. But it didn't turn him on fire. We got an extra health out of it, but it didn't turn him on fire. Below the belt, double damage against stunned opponents. Mm, I am going to go ahead and put that on this guy over here because he doesn't really have anything good per se when it comes to attacks he does have a few but nothing fantastic not like her she can hit everybody all the time because those are the ones i've been giving her and i like those those are the the best ones to have at the moment all right let's go ahead and turn this into this guy and see what he has to say ah you found it i trust there was no ex excess amount of trouble uh just give us the ids <laughs> you're not a chatty one are you no matter here you are Finally, all right, we got the IDs, guys. We got the IDs, but uh, dang it, we need to find that extra food, and I don't know where it is. And then, of course, there is the uh, the trouble with this monster down here that just wiped the floor with us. So, don't know if we can take him on just yet. We can give him another shot. If we had gotten the right spells on my mage, I think it would have been okay. But. He just didn't get them. So let's look at his his spell list, his, his tactics, and see if I can take any of that stuff off. I'm going to take the uh, unstable off because he just never uses it. Allies to immunity I'm going to take off because he never uses that. Either deal magic to one target, heals target for the next two turns, 100 defense. Yeah, we'll take that one off. Next physical attack, raise defense. I like that one. Revive. Deal damage to a single target. Hmm. Wait for one space. Ah, we're going to take that one off as well. Okay, so he only has five things that he can use. And uh, normally that would be bad. But in this situation, because I need those heal spells to come up, he'll uh, actually he has eight. He has eight. But because I need those heal spells to come up, I need the uh, revive. He has that one, right? Revive player, yeah. To be on the list as soon as possible. Uh, I think this is going to be the way to do it. So let's give it a shot. See if we get the right cards in the right order. All right. Until next turn, attack 50. Dang. Right off the bat, that fly just deals so much damage. All targets. But he they run out of these cards, just like you do. So if you can survive long enough. Okay. Heal target. Damage to single target. Damage to all enemies. 
So we'll go damage to all enemies, I think, on this one. Mm. Will he survive is the thing. He might not survive that, so let's go ahead and heal him. I hate to do that, but yeah, let's heal him. Because one of them actually has the ability to resist magic at, in all levels, and we, we don't want him to get that. Double damage against a stun target. 50 next uh, uh Let's do this one right here on this guy. Come on. Yes, 117. Fantastic. Fantastic. Stun target for a single turn. Stun target for a single turn. Double damage against a stun target. Okay, well, we're going to do stun target for a single turn. That's going to be this little fly over here. There we go. And he is stunned. Now it is uh, his turn. Deal damage to all targets. Unfortunately, that is going to be the thing. And he would have died if I hadn't healed him. Now my other guys are really low on life. Lowers opponent's attack. Well, that's okay. You, you weren't really doing anything anyways. Heal all allies. That's going to be a thing on this one. I can't use the magic just yet like I would like to and magically hurt all my enemies. But let's see. What do you got? Regain a small amount. Okay, we'll do that one. Get you back up to full if we can. Not quite, but close. Uh, what are you going to do? 75% damage. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it on the boat fly or the butterfly, whatever his name is right over here. 108. Mm, could be better. Could be better. Stun target for a single turn. Yep. And he has no, uh, no power, which is a bad thing in my case because he'd be able to heal himself at least once in this fight. And I'm going to need that at some point. So this may be a bust down the road, but uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll keep going. There's not much we can do anyways. You can't run away once you start the fight. Let's do damage to all enemies. Get that fox in there for once. There we go. 82. Mm. Well, when you add it all up, that's, that's actually still a lot. So let's do haste like that. We got healed. Could use the healing. Wish we could have done the uh, the damage to him, though. Let's do the, uh, the, the fly over here. Oh, nice. That is beautiful right there. What else do we got? Double damage against stun targets. Mm, automatically misses you. How close is he to dying? Not close, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. 96. Fantastic. Holy crap, guys. Let's see. Can't use the healing. I wish I could. I really, really wish I could. Double damage against stunned. No. Uh, until next turn, attack a single target attacking you. Okay, we'll do that one. Let's uh, let's kill this guy off, maybe. Yeah, let's kill him off. I don't want him to get another turn. It's a waste, but I definitely don't want that guy to get another turn. All right, what's going to happen here? Okay, you're, you're one of the ones that is completely full on your life. You're actually one that can, can, list, can, can accept that. Really wish you hadn't done that to her. <laughs> Little fox, little fox, I hate you. Hate you. Let's go with the uh, the butterfly. Get him out of there. 82 damage. Eh, eh, Could have been better. Attack all enemies in one shot. Now she gets that when she's down by 50%. So that's completely worthless, I think. But let's go ahead and use it. She has more of them in her bag. Yeah, 49. Could have been better. Could have been better. What about you, man? What do you got? I really don't want him getting all the damage for even a single turn because he just cannot handle it. Let's go ahead and go with the fly. 57. Eh. Close. We might do. We might be able to do this one, guys. Might be able to if we get lucky. 115 is not helping that. Charging. All right. What do we got? Deal magic damage. Let's go with the, uh, the butterfly. He's going to be running low on magic. I know it. Uh, that guy is almost dead, though. So close. Attack all enemies. Yep, let's do it. Come on, kill the butterfly. Kill him. Not quite. Hopefully this guy can do it. Uh, attack all enemies. Yeah, let's go with that one, because there's only going to be one enemy left here in a second. There we go. Now the only person that thing is going to be attacking is him, which I'm fine with. 50% uh, negative on the attack is, is okay by me. And it seems like it just lasts the whole fight. Because they both have that stuff on them. It's not going anywhere. Raise, targets, attack. Let's do that. 
Let's raise her back up to normal. It should cancel that out. Doesn't look like... Oh, they did. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's see. Physical attack. There we go. Do an extra 50%. Now that she's back at normal, she's just even. And then do the plus 50% on that one. What about you, dude? What do you got? Mm, I guess just a regular attack? Yeah, I guess a regular attack because he's not stunned. 36. Really? We need to get you a better weapon, man. Oh, he's charging. He's charging. Uh, let's just go with regular attack. Can you do it? Can you defeat the last fox? 52 damage. Nice. Woo! 1,000. Drain life. You heal hit points equal to the amount of damage dealt, and it goes straight to him. So he got some interesting little spells to use on him. I have to admit, I'm uh, kind of liking the ones he gets. Let's come out here. I'm guessing somewhere out here is that extra crate we missed. So we need to look around yet again, or maybe I'll do that off camera. Just kind of walk around and see if I can find where that is. But we do have a few quests that have been finished, so let's look at this. Uh, find an investigator. No, we can't do that one yet. Find the merchant's wife. Okay, we can do that one. We can go off looking for treasure as well. A hunter in the dark. Find and slay all the monsters in Undercity. And we've done that one. So we just got to go turn that back in, I think. Um, is she the wife? No. We'll keep looking. Where is that last box? It has to be over here somewhere, right? I mean, come on. It's not that, that hard to see them. I'm, it has to be in a place we've never been. That is all I'm saying. Because, I mean, we've seen everything around here. I can't believe I missed it. Uh, every time I breathe... I think it's this woman right here is, is the one that said that. Her husband has been missing for days. I don't think he's coming back. No? What is it? I, I'm i sorry we found your husband in Undercity. Is he... Of course he is. We think he was killed by a clandestine organization called the Brotherhood. Brotherhood? I thought they were just a myth. It seems they're real, or at least someone wants us to believe so. He left me this. It's probably linked to his death somehow. Please, have it as a token of my gratitude. At least now I know. Alright, so what did we get out of that? Some kind of token. Investigate the merchant's warehouse. Investigate the merchant's warehouse? Didn't we already do that? Let's go down there. Fine. Now we've done that. Investigate the merchant's warehouse. Okay, let's go back to the merchant's warehouse. And Oh, no, it's this way. Oh, you know what? The extra crate may be in here. Maybe you have to do those quests before you have access to the right areas. Yep, it sure is right there in the top right corner of, uh, of the map right there. So we'll go over there and snag that. That's why we weren't finding it. I knew I wasn't missing it. Yeah, look, see, I'm all sure that I was I'm missing it in there. I was saying I was. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Let's let's grab this and fight this last guy and kill him off. Eighty-five damage. It's not too bad. Deal magic damage to a single target. Deal magic damage to a single target. We're gonna hold off on using his so he can heal if he needs to. So let's go with the extra damage he's gonna get from this spell. 86, wow. He's he's definitely getting better. All right, what do you got? No, no, no. You're going to go with... I guess you're going to go with this? No, go with 51. Just in case he gets haste later on, or she gets haste later on. Wow, wow, look at that. All enemies attack you. Okay, we'll go with that. You should be able to handle a little bit, and you get healed. And he's unstabilized, so now my magic guy can really go to town on him. 82. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Let's look at it, guys. How much is it going to do? I'm guessing 126. 164. Holy crap. Gladia got uh, Vigor 7. Uh, another 7, another 4, and a 4. Roth reached level 10. He got 5, 4, 7, and 4. So, yeah, some really nice stuff on that one. What are we going to get? What is, is it going to be a clue? Achievement unlocked. Death of a salesman. Fair reach level 11, 4, 5, 4, and 7. And uh, we got a reward, which is a detonating bolt. Assault tactic deals double damage. Ooh, assault tactic deals double damage? Are you kidding me? Wow, that would be really, really nice. 
So I am going to give that to her, and she's going to get rid of her defense effects, which is a nice thing to have, but they haven't really been using them as much as they used to. Character always has the first action. That's not it. Assault tactics right there. Flaming. So detonating bolt and flaming bolt are two different ones. One uh, gives the target uh, fire and, and lasts for three turns. The other one deals double damage. So, I don't know. The bolts seem to be really, really nice things to have on you. Uh, defense. Uh, stun the target for one turn. Mm, I don't know on that one. I, I kind of like the stun and the uh, unstabilized, so we'll probably stick with that. Let's, uh, let's go downstairs, turn in that quest. Actually, we want to go back upstairs and uh, talk to the guards because we did kill all the monsters down there. We can get that reward as well, and then we'll head back downstairs and turn in that reward and see what they're going to give us. Uh, actually, you know, I don't, you know, I don't really need a reward for giving them food. I'm just happy to help them out. So let's let's talk to these guys. You think you're some kind of monster hunter, huh? I thought I killed all the monsters. Didn't we? Didn't we kill all the monsters down there? Let's take one last look. I thought I could have sworn we did all the monsters in Undercity and. Uh, Maybe we missed one. Maybe there's one hiding around the corner or something. Or maybe there's a gate that we didn't go through to uh, to get those monsters. So, let's see. Railroad Company? No, this is the girl. Oh, this is enough. Thank you. We're forever in your debt. No need. We're just glad to help. 3,000 experience points. You're such our... Yeah, you're our heroes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was just happy to get that uh, that experience off of that and just be nice to to those people. So, let's go this way. Make one final look around. Make sure we didn't forget anybody. Should be everybody's dead. Everybody I ran into we killed. There's only uh, one. Oh, when did this guy get here? He wasn't here earlier. We killed. Or this this area was open when we got that item. We're going to go ahead and go with a regular attack. Actually, it's not a regular attack. It's extra 50% on that damage. Get that guy dead. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with play two cards. Get heals. Uh... Could it could have been better timing on that one, but that's all right. Fifty percent on the uh, the damage. Oh yes, and he's ignited, and he's ignited, guys. Let's see. Um, what was the other one? Oh, it does double damage. So that did double damage right there, plus the uh, extra fifty percent. Play another tactic minus. Uh, so we'll do that one. That's still gonna leave us in the plus twenty-five. And we get another turn out of it, so yeah, that that is absolutely fantastic. All enemies get shot. Mm, it's not the greatest one. I wish we had another plus 50%, but we'll use it. He should be close to being dead. All oh, allies gain immunity. That's all this guy does is he casts those spells, so we really shouldn't be in too big of a hurry to kill him, but stun targets, let's try that and see if maybe somebody can use that other one. Stun and unstabilized. Oh, geez. They're gonna. They're really gonna. You know, get me to want to use my spell here. So let's go ahead and use the spell. And he resisted. Jeez, you suck. All right, double damage against stun targets. Wow, wow. Achievement unlocked. Dirty tricks. So that is a, an achievement right there. Apparently, stun target for a turn. I like his stuns. I like his stuns. I like the fact that he's procking a lot more as well. All right, so he is dead. I wonder if they come back after a certain amount of time or if maybe there's just... Because we did the quest, it opened it up, and that's why there's a mob there now. That should be it, right? I don't think there's any more anywhere else, but let's do another look to make sure. Anybody over here? No? Who would sleep down here? Turkey legs everywhere? Can we go in here? I guess we can't. No, we can't go in there. Oh, got another guy here. All right, we'll, we'll attack him. Let's see, revive, no, attack target, about 50% for one turn. Hills target. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it to her. See if she can do something better for me. Invigoration, guys, invigoration. Play two tactics, yes, we'll go with that. I'm gonna do some serious damage. So we got 50%, till next turn, plus 75%, so 50 plus 75, guys. I got 125 right there. Really, really nice. If we can get another 50% uh, right here. 
Yep, that is going to be pretty nasty. And we get plus 200% double, basically, of what we already had. That's why that guy just took as much damage as he just took. That's going to be like the strongest hit we will ever get for a long, long time for to come because that is just amazing. That was perfect timing on all of those spells lining up just the way they did. Kind of wish that was the main bad guy. We could have gone through those things so much quicker. Deal magic damage to all of them now. We're going to go with uh, deal double damage to a stun target. And there you go, guys. He is dead. Whew. Did you hear that howl? Yes, it sounds like a wolf, but darker, twisted. It must be the beast. Okay, so now we got to find the beast somewhere. I don't know if it's up here or further up this direction. Let's go over here and see if we can find him. This must have been the guy you have to come back into to get. Although, oh, why are we going this direction? Okay, so it uh, kind of moved me around a little bit, but this is not where the guy's at, apparently. Let's see. Oh, this might be him. This might be him, guys. Let's see if he's labeled as like a boss guy or something. Play tactics, two tactics after this one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, there he goes, getting healed already. Uh, we'll go with this one. It's just the Shadow Fox, just a regular Shadow Fox. Nothing, nothing fantastic, but may lead to the next one. How about you? Can we kill you? There we go, and you're ignited, and plus 200, you know, twice as much. I love that one. That is, that's a fantastic spell. I really, really do. Let's put this on her. Hopefully she doesn't get hit on this one. Ah, she never gets hit, that's right, because this thing never hits. Oh, nice, nice. Immunity, yeah, keep casting those buffs, man. Keep casting those buffs. Hmm, what do we got? Single target. Now, if you use the spell like this guy has once, that causes all enemies to target you. This thing does actually attack. But, you know, why would you use that once you know better? So let's go ahead and use this. Not going to be fantastic anymore, but at least it opens up a spot for something better to show up on the next round. Mm, deal magic damage now, because it, it just resists that anyway. So let's go ahead and use this. 70. It's actually better than the other guy's hits, the guy with the sword. Kind of surprised about that. Stun immunity, so he can't be stunned anymore, at least for a little while. Let's go ahead and do a regular attack. Come on, let me kill him. Yeah, see, look, he gets 63, the other guy gets 70, the magic guy gets 70. Attack all in a single shot. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Nope, didn't die, it did. You killed him. All right, Roth Roch Leech reached level 11, 5, 4, 7, and 4. That apparently was not the monster we were looking for, guys. These are not the droids. So let's keep looking around. I bet you more than anything, it's going to be over there in that uh, one area that we were at just a minute ago off to the right where that room was that everybody was kind of uh, sleeping in. But I just want to come up here and see if maybe we can come in here. Can we open the door? No. No, we can't go that way just yet. There may be a, a way to open that up at a later date, but for now, uh, not so much. All right, so it's not going to be over here because we did double check. Let's just check down here in this room, though. I don't think it's going to be down here either. I think it's going to be further over to the right, to be honest. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Uh, it's going to be way over there in that sewer where there's plenty of room and it could be a big freaking mob. And Yeah, it's going to be pretty nasty. All right, where is it at, guys? Where is it at? There it is right there. Holy crap. Look at that. That's going to be a rough mob, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, man, and my main, my, uh, not my main guy, play two tactics. He's such a cheater. You're like me. He doesn't have any power. Holy crap. This guy actually hits, unlike his other little guys. All right, what are you going to do? Whew. Jeez. That is not a good way to start this match. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Deal magic damage, revive, heal all allies, deal magic damage. So we are going to go with getting rid of this one just so that the other guys will have a better card maybe that will show up there that they can use for their turn uh hmm play another tactic minus 25 percent until next turn yeah let's go with that one that way we can get an extra turn and get rid of one of those cards and we get double the amount of damage and the fire so that was not a bad move right there 
Let's go with uh, minus 50% and extra 50% on the attack. 80 damage, not exactly what I was hoping for, but not too bad either. Okay, all enemies attack you until the next turn. Can you handle it? Don't know if you can, but there's only one enemy, so I'm going to say, okay, go with it. He still can't heal himself because he has no power, and I have no idea how to recharge their power. Oh, I do know. There's there's a couple items that you can touch in certain cities that will do it for you, but beyond that, I have no idea what will do it. All right, let's go ahead and use this. Get that extra damage in there. 83? Eh, you know, it adds up. It definitely adds up, but it's not what I was hoping for. You can recover a little bit and then attack again. I guess we're going to do that so that you can get some better spells in there. What else do you got? Attack all enemies until next... Uh, Let's go with this. It's going to make you a little weak, but that's okay. 100% or 100 damage, I should say, not 100%. 100 damage. Till next turn, attack a single target attacking you. Mm, yep, let's go with that. Ooh, yes. Unstabilized. Unstabilized, guys. I might try using my magic, but I really have only 14 left. I want to save it for the heals, and it seems like now would be a good time to use it. Heal all allies. I hope this isn't too soon. Actually, let's take a look at how much life he has. He still has about 75% life. I think I'm going to hold off. That may be a bad idea, but I'm going to hold off a little bit more and see if maybe we can get a little bit more damage on our guys before I use that. It does, I think, about 175 health when I use it, so there's a little bit of wiggle room in there. Until next turn, 75... Attack all enemies in a single shot. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use this. Get that in there. 100. Yep. That seems about right. It seems about average of what she's hitting for. For the next three turns, opponents only target you. Play two attacks. Okay, I'm going to leave that one in there for, for her. I'm going to say for the next three turns, opponents only target... No, I really don't want to use that one, do I? Until next turn, 50... Let's go with this one. Two turns, 50 defense just in case what about who are you gonna target who are you gonna target eh, 88 better than the hundred and something he was hitting for magic damage heal all allies yeah we can keep holding off play two tactics no we'll go with regular attack come on get, get a good a 70 or 80 in there 63 uh, it's not doing as well as i like attack all enemies here we go play two tactics this is going to be good. This is going to be good, guys. Now, if she can get what she did earlier, which is allow me to, uh, you know, get a double on this one. So, 113. She's up by 75. Now, I can use this one, which is going to give me even more. And this, I need a double on this one. There we go. Yes. Double damage. 318. And he's ignited. Oh, my God. So great. Now, can we stun the target? If we can stun him... Ah, he resisted, but 87 is not bad. I'll take the 87. Plus 20. Increase Hunter's defense and grants magic protection. Enables something defense. Hmm. Do they need healing? No, they don't need healing yet. So let's, let's use this. Get that extra damage in there. 70. Not bad, not bad. What else do we got? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use that. 87. Uh, I was hoping you do more than that. She, she's my go-to girl for the damage. Come on, you got to do better. Do, do, do something. 108. Wow. Wow, he's actually out damaging her now. Strong magical attack, immunity to the next magical effect. Holy crap, she's... Wow, I cannot believe she is not dead. So let's go ahead and finally use our heal. It's going to be a waste on my magic guy, but it's going to be good for everybody else. Whew. Okay, attack all enemies, attack all enemies. Regain a small amount. Yeah, let's go ahead and regain a small amount. And then we will attack all enemies. Not going to kill them. Not yet, but I think we're going to win this one. I really think we're going to win this one, guys. What do we got? For the next three turns, opponents only attack you. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. And we get healed. Okay. Target all opponents, evade the next attack. So he's going to evade all next attacks? Alright, physical. You're going to miss that one. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off and let these guys kind of just uh, evade everything that's coming because he's gonna evade everything as well. So there's no point in attacking him. Uh, what about you? Attack all enemies? No. Until next turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I can't use it until next turn. Plus 50 defense. Oh, we have to use it on an enemy. It's an attack as well. Well, he's going to invade, but we get that extra plus 50 defense, so that's, that's kind of what I wanted. Raise attacks by 50%. Retaliates. All right, now we can attack. Mm, let's invigorate. Get her doing some serious damage. Give her something good. Play two tactics. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we needed. What we got here maybe not the greatest spells to have at the exact moment that we're doing that one but better than nothing and i'll take it oh what the crap oh because he he retaliates that's right all right can we do it 87 he's gonna no nope, that was just one turn apparently i think he still has the stun immunity on so i'm not gonna do that let's just do with a regular attack 75. Does it kill him? No. Nope. Not yet. He's going to get one more attack. Strong magical attack. Immunity to the next magical effect. Killed my guy. Do I have revive? I do have revive, but I have no magic left whatsoever to use on him. So let's just use a regular attack and see how we do. Come on. Yes. Yes, guys. 2,500 experience gained. Gladia got to level 12, 7, 7, 5, and 4. Vera got level 12, 4, 5, 4, and 8. We got Shadow Dance, which is a... Uh, until the next turn, taunt, evade, play another tactic. Until the next turn, taunt, evade, and play another tactic. I don't know what that means. But let's give it to... Let's give it to this guy, because it seems like that's his bread and butter. And guys, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, be sure to uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. But more than that, guys, leave those comments down below. I love hearing back from you guys, and I want to know what you guys think of the game. I cannot wait to see more of this thing, and uh, I will catch you all next time.